Hello. In this lesson we are going to learn about using variables. Variables are letters or words that can store and manipulate data for us. I'm going to start by declaring a variable inside the main method. Variables declared inside a method are called local variables because they are local to the method that we've created them inside. So I'm going to declare a variable x of type int. int x. Ints can hold any whole number within a large range. Next, we need to initialize x. We need to give it an initial value before we really do anything with it. I'm going to initialize x by setting it equal to 10. Now that it has an initial value, I can change the value to 5. I can increment it. For example, I could set x equal to x plus 1. This is going to take the current value of x, which is 5, add 1 to it, it'll become 6, and that number 6 will go become the new value of x. In Java, we can think of the single equal sign as being like a left pointing arrow. The data on the right side of this expression will be calculated and then go into the left side of the expression, which is holding the variable x. The naming conventions for variables in Java is lower camel case. It's the same with method names. That means if we have one word or letter, it starts off and is lower case. If we have multiple words, they are all run together with no spaces, and the first letter of every word except for the first word is capitalized. So I'm going to declare another int. I'm going to call it my final score. I have three words. They all run together. The second and third words start with a capital letter. The first word starts with a lowercase letter. In this case, I'm going to choose to declare and initialize on the same line. Now what I want to do is I want to output the value of one of my variables. So I'm going to say system out print line, open close parentheses. I want to output the value that is stored inside the variable. I'm going to choose my final score. Notice there aren't quotation marks around my final score. If there were, it would print out my final score. Since there's no quotation marks, it's going to output the value stored inside the variable, my final score. Let's end our system out print line with a semicolon. Next, let's build it. We're going to go to build, compile. The compiler checked to see if it could find any errors and convert it to bytecode. So far, it looks like there isn't a problem, so we're going to run it. We're going to go to build, run, and it outputted the value stored in my final score, which was 10, to our console. In the next lesson, we're going to discuss all eight types of primitive variables in Java. If you want to see that lesson, check out the link on the video in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, or if you want to see the whole curriculum, check the link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.